Western Nebraska, I guess you could say held on because after having a 21-point lead at halftime, they were outscored by five in the third, and McCook put a little bit of a run on in the early fourth also. It cut it to 10 at a couple of occasions, but Western was equal to the challenge, and the women win their 20th game. It was 66-50. to 50. Looking at McCook's scoring, it was all Gemma Bakul. The sophomore out of Berlin, Germany, had eight of ten at the line. She had a three-pointer to her credit and finishes with 27, more than half of the points for McCook. Also in doubles, Audra Vine with 13. She had three threes, a two, and was two for two at the line. Then it drops off to Susan Sisman with four. She was two for four at the line, fouled out with 2.57 to go. Three points for Hanny Alvarez on a three. Two points for Carlotta Alonzo. One point for Rebecca Dunn. She was one for two at the line. Playing but not scoring, Noah Chorda. Madra Lapanisi. And Faith Fromm got in late. So ten played, six scored for McCook in the ball game. Looking at Western Nebraska's scoring, they end up with three in doubles. A couple more close. Mackenzie Joseph had 16. She hit four threes, didn't have any free throws in the ball game to attempt. Then it was uh, 10 points for Laura Montiel, two of four at the line, 10 for Aberi Egberica. She was four of six in free throwing. Then nine points for Amaya Donaldson, a couple of twos, a three, and two for two at the line. Seven points for Faith Walker all in the first quarter. She went down hard. That knee might have been re-injured. We're just speculating on that, though. So she was three of four in free throwing, seven points all in the first quarter of play. Six points each, Helena Cook and Gala Font. As uh, Cook hit a pair of threes, Font hit three two-pointers in the game. Two points for Kayla Cervantes on a pair of free throws. Playing but not scoring, Adelina Ertain, Kylie Smitch, Jamie Karen. So 11 played, 8 scored for Western Nebraska. When we bring you the numbers, they're courtesy of Dr. Levi Bolin at Advantage Chiropractic in Scotts Bluff, treating all of your chiropractic needs from newborn to 100 years old. Give them a call at 633-1425. You're listening to the Runza Post Game Show. Runza doesn't like to think of themselves as just another restaurant in town. They like to think of themselves as part of the community. Runs it with locations in Scotts Bluff, Gehring, and Shadron. Western Nebraska wins it. Looking at the rebounding totals, 45-40 advantage for Western Nebraska. Not nearly what they had at halftime when they had a 10 more, 26-16. Out of the 40 for McCook, McCool, who else? Nine rebounds for her. Five for Chorda. Dunn had four. For Western Nebraska, Ertain had 11 rebounds. Remember, she had 19 in the win at Lamar earlier this year. Five for Mackenzie Joseph, four for Laura Montiel. Montiel also ended up with seven steals in the ball game. She's in the top ten in the country in steals in women's NJCAA stats. We'll have a few more stats to come up before we turn our attention to the men's game. Again, Western Nebraska wins it by a score of 66 to 50 over the McCook women. Thank you. 
Western Nebraska women, 66, McCook, 50. Looking at shooting in the ball game. Three pointers for McCook, 38.5%, five out of 13. They were 34% overall as they only hit about 30% of their two point attempts in the ball game. Although Bakul was nine of 18 from the floor. And that was eight of 16 from twos, one of two from threes. Free throwing, 13 of 18 for McCook. That's 72%. For Western Nebraska, they were 7 of 25 on the arc. They were 16 of 44, so less than 50% for them also. They were 28% on threes, 33% overall, and also hit 13 out of 18 for 72% on their free throws. Turnovers unofficially 10 on Western Nebraska, 22 on McCook. Off the bench, Western Nebraska 22 to 5 advantage, 6 nothing on second chance points, and 16 to 5 on points off turnovers. That takes care of the women's game. We'll turn our attention next to the men's game. Hope you can stick around for that. If not, thanks for being along. Chuck Swartz wishing you a good evening. Back to the second game of our doubleheader between Western Nebraska and McCook. It's the men's game here at Cougar Palace. Western Nebraska women winning 66-50. Men's game has Billy Ingalls Cougars 13-8. They're 3-1 in the South Sub-Region after their overtime win at North Platte on Tuesday. McCook under Jacob Brandle, 8-11. But they're also 3-1 in the Sub-Region after an overtime win at home against NJC Tuesday. Billy Ingalls 3-3 three three against McCook, 1-2. At home. No individuals in the top 50 for either team in any of the statistical categories, but Western Nebraska is fourth in attempted threes, 43rd in made threes. McCook's 22nd in attempted threes. Western Nebraska is 35th in fewest turnovers. McCook, 9th in free throw percentage, 43rd in made free throws, and 30th in defensive rebounds. So We'll look at the national rankings, sub-region standings before the visit with Coach Billy Engel. You're listening to the High Plains Spas and Recreation pregame show.
Welcome back to Cougar Palace. Logos is your home for all your screen printing and embroidery needs. Shop the showroom or have something custom built at Logos, 1344 10th Street in Gearing. We'll have the official introduction of starting lineups coming up here shortly as the women won for Western Nebraska, 60 to 44. This one could be very hotly contested. We'll see as we'll have the national anthem first. Size crowd on hand here for the ball game tonight. The second of two women followed by the men. Starting lineups are brought to you by Western Nebraska Community College. From diplomas to degrees, it's for me. Learn more at wncc.edu. 
Martell Evans, a 6'1 sophomore out of Creighton Prep, will be in the starting lineup. 15.6 points, 4.7 rebounds. Ty Foster, 6'1 sophomore from the Bronx. He averages 12.3 points, 2.6 rebounds for him. Zeke Kavli, a 6'4 sophomore from Turkey, 8.2 points, 2.2 rebounds for him. Louis Tucker, a 6'5 freshman from England, 16 points, 7.1 rebounds. And Brian Akonmu, a 6'7 freshman from Paris, 11.6 points, six and a half rebounds for him. J.J. Harris, the 6'4 sophomore out of Tallahassee, 11.9 points, five point rebounds for Western Nebraska. Willie Wilson, 6'1 freshman out of Minneapolis, 11 points, 3.4 rebounds. He's scored in double digits 12 straight ball games. Steven Ovia, the 6'9 sophomore out of London, 7.3 points, 5.5 rebounds, 7 tenths of a block. And we'll see Daniel Bula, the 6'5 sophomore from Belgium, 9.4 points, 4.9 rebounds. And uh, getting the start tonight will be Caden Nation. It'll be his fourth start of the season. 6'7 freshman out of Peoria, 11.3 points, 2.9 rebounds for him on the season. Western Nebraska will move left to right here in the first half of play. McCook in their black uniforms, blue numerals outlined in white. Western Nebraska, their home whites. The opening tips brought to you by Papa Murphy's Pizza, 2801 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff. Every day with Papa Murphy's online special, you can get a large two-topping pizza for just $10.99 when you order at papamurphys.com. Remember, this is an online special only. Ovia will jump against a Kanmu. The Kanmu listed 6'7", same as Ovia, although he looks a little bit taller. We are ready to go now as players jockey for position. And the tip controlled by Western Nebraska. Harris came up with it. Foster just about took it away from him. Western Nebraska with the basketball. First possession. Bula, Ovia near side. Harris with it. Harris couldn't get it low to Nation. He'll pop out now into Ovia, but it's knocked away from him. McCook gets the turnover, brings it four court. Here comes the drive. The layup won't go for a con move. Western Nebraska with it. Bula clears left side. Wilson. Bula again. Here's Harris to the baseline. He'll put up a 15-footer that's woefully short. And the rebound taken off by McCook, but it's stolen away from Tucker. Western Nebraska makes a bad pass. Their second turnover. We've had combined three turnovers here. And no score in the first 50 seconds of play. Evans with it to the right side. He averages 15.6. He'll give it to Cavley. Cavley, high post, a con move. Down low, Cavley couldn't get the shot off. He'll pass it off. Here comes a long three that won't go for Tucker. And Western Nebraska has it. Bula with the rebound. No score. We've played a minute 15 in the ball game. Harris, left side, Wilson. He'll launch from the left corner, and it rolls all the way around and comes out. Rebound Tucker of McCook. They'll clear it on ahead. Here's the drive blocked, however, off the shot by Foster. Get it to Caden Nation. He'll miss, tips it up and in. Nation opens scoring. It's 2-0. 18-23 remaining. First quarter of play, first half of play. Shot misses for McCook. Ovia with the rebound. Wilson, he'll get it to Ovia. He'll easily slam it home. 4-0. Western Nebraska, we're just over 18 minutes to go. First half. Cavley will handle it to the side. The Turkey native passes to Evans. Evans out to Tucker. Cavley fakes the three, fakes the drive, now comes to the free throw line, takes a fade away from 15. It rims out. Rebound, Bula. He and Harris fighting for it, didn't realize they were on the same team. Here's Bula. Feeds down to Ovia. He'll lay it up off the glass for two more. And we've got timeout, McCook. Jacob Brandle takes time with 17.37 to go. It's 6-0. Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard.
Western Nebraska forces the timeout by McCook. It's six nothing, Ovia with four, Nation with two in the early going. McCook will have the basketball and it's Cavley who will handle it. The 6'4 sophomore, Zaki Cavley to the right side with Harris on him defensively. Get it to Martell Evans. Evans driving into the paint. What a move, he'll lay it in. Looked like he was pinned and all of a sudden has it at the rack for two. 6-2, Western Nebraska leading. Harris across at a slow pace. Halftime, we'll look at the Region 9 standings. Bounce pass to Nation on the right block. Nation trying to back his way in. He'll put it up. It comes off long. He tips the rebound over to Wilson. Back to Nation. Ten-footer goes in. Nation and Ovia each have four. It's 8-2 Western Nebraska. 16 minutes, 50 seconds to go. Tucker with it. Tucker down low, and it's taken away now. Turnover against McCook. Western Nebraska, Wilson gives to Bula. He'll go baseline, feeds it into the middle, into traffic, knocked away, but picked up by Harris. J.J. Harris handling it for Western Nebraska. He'll launch a long three, but it rims out. Ovia has it. Ovia has it punched away from behind. McCook has the ball. Here's Cavley to the rack. He'll miss, but he's fouled. That'll be Nation who will pick up the foul for Western Nebraska. First against the Cougars in the ball game. It'll be two shots coming now for Zeke Cavley. Cavley, 57% on the year, but McCook as a whole, 74.9. Five full percentage points better than Western Nebraska at the stripe. First free throw goes in. So Cavley becomes the second player to score for McCook. Now we're going to see Bernie and Simo. Anthony Simo, Elijah Bernie come in for Western Nebraska. No subs as of yet for McCook. Cavley will have one more free throw coming after the substitutions are made. Nation, along with uh, Ovia, come out for Western Nebraska. Here's the second toss coming for Zaki Cavley of McCook. Western Nebraska leading at 8-3. Cavley hits again. So 8-4. Bernie to bring it across. He had 12 in the win at North Platte on Tuesday, all on three-pointers. Simo, Wilson, Bula get the ball down low. Layup goes in for Simo as he cut across right to left. Got the pass to make it 10-4. Cavley, dangerous pass, but Tucker handled it well. Foster with it now. Foster, fade away from 15, won't go. Rebound, Bula. Bula will come out on the dribble himself. He's across, draws some pressure. Goes left side to Harris. Harris comes down the line, feeds it down low. Wilson off glass, can't get it to go, but Simo with it. Simo into the corner, Harris. Zip it out to Bernie. Bernie, Simo, high post right side. Brings the ball down, now puts it into traffic and loses the handle on it. Too many people in the way. Fourth turnover on Western Nebraska. Here's the drive, the shot, and the foul. Foster will go to the line for McCook. McCook quick on transitions. They'll get it down there in a hurry. Foul goes against Bernie, and that's his first of the game. Left side, Tucker to inbound. McCook has the basketball, comes into Cavley. Cavley backs away, Bula on him. Now he'll get a half step to the left side, pulls up, skips it over onto the far side. Here's a long three that goes in for Louis Tucker. Tucker makes it 10-7. Western Nebraska, the lead and the basketball. Just over 15 minutes to go. Harris comes to a stop, goes to Wilson, left elbow. Wilson. Faking a three, faking a drive, now tries to drive, has to cut it off to Harris. Here comes Harris on the drive, and we're going to have an offensive foul on Harris, plus the pass was intercepted by McCook anyway. So a fifth turnover on Western Nebraska, the first foul against J.J. Harris, and McCook a chance to tie it if they can hit a three. Tucker has the only three of the ball game so far for McCook. 10-7, Western Nebraska. Cavalry slows up as he greets Bernie at the timeline. 
goes high post with it. That's Akanmu. Akanmu gives it to Evans, and he'll be rejected. Simo timed that one perfectly and puts it into the third row of the bleachers on the baseline. McCook will inbound with 14.32 to go. We're going to see a McCook sub for the first time here, Ridley Shima. A 6'8 sophomore out of London will come in. He averages 3.3. Three-point shot goes up. It won't go. Simo rebounds. Here comes Wilson. Left corner. Harris launches the three, but it's short. And rebounds taken off by the new player. Shima will get it off to a teammate now under some pressure. Cavley throws it on ahead to Shima. Into the left corner. Turning down the shot. Martell Evans. Evans to Cavley. Outside, another long three by Tucker. This one won't go, and the rebound saved in bounds by Nation of Western Nebraska. He'll get it to Simo. He'll give it off for an easy layup for J.J. Harris. 12-7, Western Nebraska. McCook has the ball, 13.50 to go, first half. Maurice Walker to report next time the clock stops. Shima will launch a long three. It won't go, and the rebound kept alive by McCook, and scoring will be Louis Tucker. Tucker kept it alive and gets the points. 12-9, Western Nebraska. Harris slows the pace as he brings it across the timeline now. Goes to Nation. Nation feeds low to Simo, and it's through his hands out of bounds. Already six turnovers on Western Nebraska. We are going to see a pair of players come in. Travis Easterly, the 6'4 sophomore out of Youngstown, Ohio, and Maurice Walker, the 6'4 sophomore from Denver. First time he's not started a game this year. He'll be in. We've got a media timeout. 13 minutes, 19 seconds remain. First half, 12-9, Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. For more than 125 years, Wells Fargo Advisors has created wealth management and investment strategies aimed at achieving our clients' personal financial goals. Call Ryan Windhorst at 632-7561. Together, we'll go far. And Valley Auto Locators have been helping you find the ride you want since 2016. No gimmicks, just straightforward pricing, great financing options, and an amazing service department to keep your ride running right for as long as you want. That's Valley Auto Locators. 13-19 to go. Western Nebraska, the lead of 12-9. Ball will be inbounded by Shima. Full court press by Western Nebraska is Foster back, and he gets some help now from Tucker, who comes to take the inbound. He'll give it to Foster. Foster, high post with it to a new player, Brandon Kabuya. Kabuya gives it to Martel Evans. Evans drives paint, ball's knocked free, and Western comes up with it. Maurice Walker. Comes up with the loose basketball, gets it to Bernie. Bernie drives. He's rejected from behind. Western has it. Easterly kicks it outside. Maurice Walker, the three off the iron twice, and it's out of bounds off Western Nebraska. So it'll be McCook to inbound with 12 minutes, 46 seconds remaining. First half, 12-9, Western Nebraska. Shima will inbound it to Foster. Foster zips it on ahead, and... We're going to have a turnover, and the reason I chuckle is the two McCook players ran together and caused the turnover themselves as Evans was bumped into and shuffled his pivot foot. Boy, talk about an unforced error there. Here's Bernie with it. Let's see if Western can make him pay. Bernie trying to advance in. Can't. Now comes to the right side. He'll pull up, gets it out to Caden Nation. The three-pointer off the iron. Rebound taken by Shima of McCook. Shima clears it quickly. Tucker across. Tucker to the hoop, and it's stolen away by Bernie. Bernie clears it on ahead. It's Easterly. Easterly fake the reverse layup. Goes outside with it to Nation. He'll drain the three-pointer. 
15-9, Western Nebraska inside 12 minutes to go, first half. Foster brings it across at a slow pace now. Goes between the legs on the dribble, working to the right side. Tucker with it. Tucker on the baseline, tough, 15-foot fadeaway, bounces twice, comes away. Walker rebounds Western Nebraska. Maurice Walker across, finds Caden Nation. Nation will step back, launches another three, and hits it again. He's already in double digits, and it's a double-up score of 18-9. to 9, 11 and a half minutes to go. Western Nebraska leading here in the first half. Foster, top of the circle, now takes a pivot to the right side, gives it away to Tucker. Tucker was thinking about an NBA three, gives to Evans instead. Now Kabuya, Shima, Foster with it. Shot clock at six, five. Foster pulls up and is blocked. It goes over on the right side. Shot won't go from McCook, but it's rebounded by Shima. He'll score. Shima with his first two. Survived a late shot there as it hit the iron to avoid the shot clock violation. Here's Travis Easterly with it, defended by Tucker. Simo comes out to take the high post pass. Now Walker, Nation, baseball's a pass down to Simo. Into the corner, Easterly. Easterly faked the three, starts to drive, is cut off, pulls up, throws up an awkward shot as he was bumped and could not get it to go. Rebound taken off by Tucker McCook. Evans into the forecourt with it. Evans on the left side, picks the dribble up. Shima, Foster, long three by Tucker, won't go. Walker rebounds for Western Nebraska, head to Easterly. Easterly to the hoop, he'll kiss it off the glass over Shima for the points, his first of the ball game. 20 to 11, Western Nebraska, we're halfway through the first half of play, and we're going to have a ball knocked out of bounds, and I think a foul called, that'll be Bernie. Bernie, yep, it'll be his second. So Bernie picking up two fouls here in the first half of play coming off the bench. We're going to have a couple subs. Wilson's back in, Easterly, Walker, Nation, and Harris. McCook to inbound down on the right side. Shima takes the pass outside the arc. He'll get it to Tucker. His three is too strong. Rebound fought for. Coming away with it is Wilson. Western Nebraska with it. Wilson trying the awkward off-balance shot. It wouldn't go, and it's tied up. Great defense sneaking in from behind. Western Nebraska got the tie-up, and Easterly paid for it as he crashed hard. Possession arrow will be in McCook's favor, so it's not a turnover. It'll be McCook to inbound with 9.43 remaining, 20 to 11, Western Nebraska, first half of play. We're going to see Junior Galatia in the game for the first time out of the Dominican Republic for Western Nebraska. Cavley will bring it across as the playmaker here for the McCook Indians. One-handed pass, high post to Kabuya. Kabuya. Hands it away. Here's Evans. He'll lay it up. It hangs. Won't go. Kabuya puts it in on the follow. His first two. 20 to 13. Western Nebraska the lead. The basketball. Wilson has to get it to Harris out near the timeline. Good denial defense by McCook there. Here comes Harris to the free throw line. Jumps it to Nation in the corner. He's had the hot hand. He'll hit it again. Nation has 13 of the 23 for Western Nebraska. Nine minutes to go. First half of play. Cavley takes a screen to the left side. Hooks the pass over everybody out of bounds. He was trying to find Evans, but somebody in the third row had to duck desperately out of the way on that one. Turnover is the sixth against McCook. 23-13, Western Nebraska. They have the basketball. Cavley's going to come up and put a little one-man press on for a minute, but Harris will take the inbound and bring it across. 23-13, Western Nebraska. Galatia. Left side, Wilson. He'll drive. Tries to flip it off. McCook intercepts. McCook on the run. Left side pulling up for a three-pointer, but missing is Cavley. Rebound taken by McCook, and scoring is going to be Tucker. He has scored all over the place. 23-15 on the second chance points for McCook there. 8-20, clock running. Galatia takes the pass. 
Left side now to Wilson. Wilson scoreless. He'll bounce it into the corner. Harris is wide open. He'll hit the three. 26-15, Western Nebraska has four threes. Nation has three of them. The drive, shots rejected by Nation, taken off by Harris. Harris on ahead with it to Glacia. Gets it back to Walker, the three goes in. Count it for Maurice Walker and it's 29 to 15 with 7.46 to go in the half. Foster brings it across. He waited for teammates to clear. Now brings it across and gives it to Tucker, who faked a long three. Foster drives in. He'll jump a pass off. It's taken in by Tucker, barely ahead of the defense. High post pass, spinning, will be Akonmu. He'll miss. Akonmu gets the rebound, puts it up and in. That'll be a chance at a three-point play for Brian Akonmu. His first of the game as he battled inside tough as uh, he got the ball back off of his own miss and puts it in to make it 29 to 17. Brian Akonmu, a 6'7 freshman out of Paris. Nation picked up the foul, that's his second. So he and Bernie each have two. The cook hasn't been called for a foul yet. Free throw, skips out. Rebound, Harris. Stays 29-17. Akonmu couldn't complete the three-point play. Here is Walker. Wilson. Wilson trying to take the screen. It's knocked away. He'll save it. Gets it desperately to Walker on the near side. Maurice will go to J.J. Harris. Shot clock at 10. Harris working against Ty Foster. Launches from downtown, but it's too strong. Rebound to Evans of McCook. Cavley with it. Get it off for a wide open three-point shot for Akonmu. He just missed a free throw, but buries the three. 29-20. Western Nebraska has the nine-point lead and the basketball. Harris finds an opening to the right side, zips it into the corner. Galatia, his 15-footer goes in. As he tumbles to the court, Galatia gets his first points. 31-20. Cavley with it from a cook left side, and Walker's going to pick up a bump foul. That'll be his first. That'll be the sixth on Western Nebraska. We've got a timeout. There's 619 remaining. 31-20 Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. <laughs> Russell's Automotive, your family-owned go-to for all of your quality automotive repair needs, helping to bring you the ball game along with Highway 92 Pit Stop. Salvita's Gas Station and Convenience Store. They're ready to serve you. 6.19 to go in the half, 31-20. Western Nebraska. Western Nebraska has hit five threes. McCook has a pair. McCook will have the ball out of bounds. Martell Evans, sophomore out of Creighton Prep in Omaha, will inbound it. Zips it into Foster, who had a little trouble holding on to it, but he got it back. Foster takes a return pass from Evans. Left side, Cavalli. Cavalli goes high post with it, Akonmu. Akonmu drives in, puts it in, and draws the foul. He got the defender up. Ovia will pick up the foul. That'll be Steven Ovia's first personal of the game and a chance at a old-fashioned three-point play for Akonmu. Kanmu has 
A three-pointer, two twos. He's 0 for 1 at the line. 31-22. Western Nebraska by nine. Free throw misses. Ovia soars high for the rebound. Harris with it. Pressure on. Galatia has it. He'll go to Harris again, and he's across the timeline. We're inside six minutes to go. Western Nebraska leading at 31-22. For the first time, we see Jackson Brandel, a freshman out of Kansas in for McCook. No relation to Jacob Brandel, the coach. Wilson, touch pass, gives it to Ovia. Ovia puts the shot up under pressure and hits it again. Boy, he's hit a couple of really tough, well-defended shots there. 33-22, five and a half minutes to go, Western Nebraska. Here's a Kanmu going down low on the block, left side with it. He'll back away. Now takes it out of the danger zone, gives it to Brandle. The drive on the baseline by Foster. He's rejected from behind, gets it back, and puts it in. Ty Foster averages a little over a dozen his first two of the ball game. 33-24, five minutes, five seconds to go. First half, Western Nebraska by nine. Wilson gives off to Bula. Wilson has not scored. He's been in doubles 12 straight games. Here's Ovia backing his way into the paint. He'll stop, can't get the shot up. He'll give to Galatia, and we'll have a hand check against Brandel of McCook. So Jackson Brandle, a freshman out of Kansas, will pick up his first personal. It will be out of bounds. It was not a shooting foul. That's the first foul called against McCook in the game. Here's Harris, free throw line jumper, too strong. Rebound, fought for, Western has it. Ovia, nice job, off glass, puts it in again. Changed to the left hand, kissed it softly, and it's 35-24. Four and a half minutes to go, clock running. Cavalli with it. Cavalli behind the back pass, Akonmu. Akonmu has it punched away from behind by Harris. Off to Bula. On ahead, now trying to take the shot. It's knocked free, and McCook comes up with it. Turnovers both directions. Cavalli with it. He'll spin to the left baseline. Cuts into the middle. It's a bad pass. It'll be knocked away by Wilson and taken. Wilson gets it to Harris. He'll stuff it home. Western Nebraska by 13 now, 37-24. We're inside four minutes to go, first half of play. Ty Foster, a sophomore out of the Bronx in New York, handling it for McCook on the far side. He'll zip a pass on top, but Cavalli, a little off balance, regains control. He'll give it down to Akonmu. Akonmu, Cavalli, shot clock at five. Brandle with it. Give it off to Cavalli. He'll launch a desperation, and that's a shot clock violation as he missed the iron by 10 feet. Turnover against McCook, and Western with 3.23 to go has the basketball back. Couple subs for McCook as they're trying to find an answer offensively. Kavli comes out of the game. Western Nebraska will have Nation back in along with Harris, Ovia. Wilson and Walker. Walker trying to set a screen. They'll double on Harris out near the timeline. He'll get it to Wilson. It's nearly thrown away. Walker, great save. He'll square up. Three-pointer goes in. A pair of threes for Walker after going scoreless in North Platte Tuesday night. Here's the drive. Foster, reverse layup won't go. Rebound taken by Walker. On ahead to Wilson. Wilson shakes and bakes near side, pulls up for an 18-footer, but it's off the back iron. Rebound saved by McCook. That'll be R.J. Hines who came in. Stolen away. Walker scores on the layup. 42 to 24. Two and a half minutes to go. Tucker with it to Evans. Evans will drive on the side, feeds it down low. The reverse laps rejected. Akonmu at 6-7 was blocked. Western has it. Here comes Wilson. Passes down low. It was too high. Ricochets off the backboard. Turnover on Western Nebraska. Get it ahead. Foster, acrobatic shot, goes in. He'll be fouled and go to the line with a chance to add a point here. Two minutes, eight seconds to go. 
in the first half. That makes it 42 to 26. Western Nebraska with the big lead. Foster his second hoop of the game. The foul went against uh, Maurice Walker, and that'll be his second of the game. So Foster, an 85% free throw shooter, trying to complete the three-point play and edge McCook back into this thing. They've trailed by big margin. That one will go in. So Foster with five. That makes it 42 to 27. Western Nebraska had an 18 point lead just seconds ago. We're inside two minutes to go. First half of play. Western Nebraska women led 40 to 19 at halftime, but got outplayed in the second half by McCook, but still won it by a 66 50 score. Here's Nation. He'll turn. 10 footer is too strong. Long rebound taken by McCook. That'll be the new player, RJ Hines, with it. Hines to Foster. Foster spins on the baseline, gets the ball into the middle, shot misses, but is followed up by Kabuya. His second time, he's followed a miss, and it's 42 to 29. Western Nebraska now by 13 points. Just a short time ago, it was 18. Minute 15 to go. Walker. Misses the three-pointer. Rebound comes away to McCook. Tucker across in a hurry. Tucker jumps it down low. Reverse layup will go in for Foster on a nice move. 42 to 31. We're inside a minute to go now in the first half. 42-31, Western Nebraska. Harris across. 20 on the shot clock. 45 seconds now on the game clock here at the half. Harris started left, cut off, so he'll come to the right side. Now zips a pass out to Nation, who faked a long three. Tries to pass inside. It's intercepted. Here's McCook at the other end. Martell Evans is fouled as he goes up for the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot, too, as Evans quickly bringing the ball up court. And that will stop the clock with 29.2 seconds to go. Wilson with the foul for Western Nebraska. And Evans at the line. He only has two points so far. He averages 15.6. But he'll have two free throws coming here. Sophomore out of Creighton Prep in Omaha. Three players score the majority of the points for McCook on the year. Evans, one of them, but that's his third. 42-32. Bula comes in for Western Nebraska now, and Evans will have one more coming. Remember, a little bit ago, it was 18 points up after Maurice Walker had hit the bucket. Another free throw by Evans makes it a nine-point game, 42-33. Western Nebraska with 26 seconds to go. Needs to end it on a positive note. Ball's tipped away and will go out of bounds. And they're going to say it's off Western Nebraska. So it deflected off a fingertip. So McCook will have the ball with 20.9 seconds. Boy, talk about a, a run they could put on late here in the half. Foster working against Wilson still in the backcourt. Now he's across the timeline, works to the far side toward the Western Nebraska bench, reverses to Evans. Evans will drive in. It's stolen away by Wilson. Wilson takes it to the hoop and lays it in with two seconds to go in the half. And Western Nebraska gets a little momentum back, leading it 44-33 at intermission. Performing to ACDC's Thunderstruck, 
for your halftime entertainment, it's the Cougar Fit Squad. Western Nebraska, despite not shooting a single free throw in the first half, leads it 44 to 33. Western Nebraska jumped out 6-0 with 1737 to go before McCook could score with 1720 on the clock. Western Nebraska led 10-4, 15-9, to 20-11. Their biggest lead, 42-24, inside three minutes to go, and Maurice Walker hit a big shot, but McCook went on the run after that, and uh, Western Nebraska trying to stop the tide there. It was a 9-0 run by McCook to make it 42-33 before Western Nebraska got the late hoop by Wilson and lead it by 11 at halftime, 44-33. We'll look at scoring when we come back. 44-33, Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Western Nebraska men lead it at halftime, 44-33. When we look at the numbers, they're courtesy of Dr. Levi Bolin at Advantage Chiropractic in Scott's Bluff. Give them a call at 633-1425. Well, a trio with seven points each for McCook. Ty Foster, one for one at the line with three two-pointers. Louis Tucker, a couple of twos and a three. And Brian Akonmu. Two twos and a three, but he's also 0 for 2 in free throwing. Four points for Brandon Kabuya, both on two pointers. Four for Martel Evans, he's two for two at the line with a fielder. Two points for Zaki Cavley, he's two for two at the stripe. Ridley Shimu has a fielder for his two. Playing but not scoring, Jackson Brandle and RJ Hines for McCook. So nine have played. And seven have scored in the half for this McCook Indians team. For Western Nebraska, they have been led at halftime with Caden Nation's 13 points, three threes, two twos. Eight points each, Maurice Walker and Stephen Ovia. Walker off the bench with two threes and a two. Ovia, four two-pointers. Seven points for J.J. Harris. He has a three-pointer, a couple of twos. Then it's two points each, Travis Easterly, Willie Wilson, Anthony Simo, and Junior Galatia. Playing but not scoring, Elijah Burney 
and Daniel Bula, but we'll get to some rebounding totals on Bula here in a moment. Ten played, eight scored for Western Nebraska in the first half compared to nine playing, seven scoring for McCook. Western Nebraska leads it at halftime, 44-33. We'll look at some of the team stats when we come back. Western Nebraska up at halftime, 44-33, looking at shooting. McCook's 11 of 25 on twos, that's 44%. They're only 2 of 11 on threes for 18%, so overall at 36%. Western Nebraska, 12 out of 20 on twos, that's a 60% rate. They are 6 of 13 for 46% on threes. Nation, 3 of 4. Walker, 2 of 4, the leaders there. And overall, 54.5%. Western Nebraska has not shot a free throw in the first half, while McCook is 5 out of 7 for 71.5%. 11 twos, two threes for McCook. Western Nebraska has 12 twos and six threes at intermission. We'll look at the uh, standings and some other stats coming up at halftime when we come back. It's 44-33 Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Western Nebraska men leading 44-33 at halftime. Western Nebraska women winning 66-50 earlier. Some of the other game stats off the bench. Western Nebraska has a 14-9 advantage, but McCook 15-2 in second chance points. And off turnovers, McCook with a 6-2 advantage there. Now, important game, even though it's early in uh, South Sub-Region play, Coming into play tonight, Trinidad, Western Nebraska, and McCook all three and one. NJC two and one. Otero two and three. North Platte one and three. And Lamar zero and four. Tonight, besides the McCook at Western Nebraska game, Trinidad is at Otero. In the north subregion, Gillette's uh, unblemished four and zero oh right now. Western Wyoming's two and one. Central Wyoming, one and one. Eastern Wyoming, Casper, and Northwest are one and two. And LCCC is 0 oh and two. Tonight, LCCC is at Central Wyoming of Riverton. That's the only game tonight, but busy on Saturday afternoon. Western Wyoming will be at Casper. Eastern Wyoming at Central Wyoming. 
and L Triple C will be at Northwest. So that's the standings for the men. Now tonight with Western Nebraska winning, they're four and zero on the women's side. Haven't heard on a Trinidad Otero. NJC's three and zero. So we'll have to wait and update those later. Again, Western Nebraska will not play again until next Friday night. They'll be in Otero for a women's and men's doubleheader. Then the following Tuesday, the 6th of February, big matchups in Sterling against Northeastern Junior College. We'll have those for you here on KOLT. Teams are back out, shooting around, getting ready for the second half. Western Nebraska, 44. McCook, Technology isn't an obstacle, it's an opportunity. You know, for more than 125 years, Wells Fargo Advisors has created wealth management and investment strategies aimed at achieving our clients' personal financial goals. Call Ryan Windhorst at 632-7561. Together, we'll go far. Again next week, at Otero on Friday night, we will not have those broadcasts for you. But the Tuesday after that on the 6th, we'll be in Sterling for the NJC matchup. Then Western will turn around and play the next Monday at home against NJC. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be able to bring you those, the Supernovas, that new professional volleyball team out of the Omaha Lincoln area. We'll have coverage of that coming up for you that night. So since it's a home game, we won't have that one for you. So I've got a little mid -day season break here. Not used to that following tonight, but we have a second half coming up that certainly can be exciting as it's an 11 point lead for Western Nebraska at one point. They led by 18. We go to the second half. Western Nebraska will have the basketball leading by 11, 44-33 over McCook. Always a dangerous team, and particularly when you think that uh, some of their leading scorers not up to their normal averages. So if they get hot and explode, things can change in a hurry. Bula inbounds the ball to Harris. McCook will come out in a man-to-man -man defense. Wilson, Nation. And Ovia in for Western Nebraska. Wilson gets the ball down low to Nation, and a punch foul called here as the ball was knocked away by Martell Evans, but got a little bit of the body there also, and he'll have his first foul. That's the second foul against McCook in the ball game. Ball will be inbounded by Wilson, flips it out to Bula. Bula looking to get it inside to Ovia, but good denial defense. Here comes Bula on the drive, flips it into Ovia. He'll muscle the shot up. It comes out, but we'll have a rebounding foul 
And uh, we're going to have shots coming for Ovia here. So all of a sudden, back-to-back -back fouls against McCook. That'll be Akonmu who picks up his first. So 10 seconds apart, the second and third fouls go against McCook in the half. Ovia has it hang on the iron and fall away. He misses his first free throw attempt of the night. He has one more coming. Still an 11 point advantage. That's what we were at halftime. Ovia bounces it a couple of times, puts it up and in. So 45-33 as Ovia gets one of two. Western Nebraska by a dozen. Here's McCook with the basketball. Cavley across with it. Harris picks him up. Evans with it. Now on the weave to Foster. Foster trying to drive in. He'll put it up and miss. Rebound taken off by McCook, but it's knocked away. Ovia comes up with it. Ovia, Wilson, Ovia, the two-hand slam. And a technical is going to be called on Ovia for hanging on the iron. So the bucket will count, but Ovia to be called for his technical, which is his second personal. Now, the only time you can hang on the iron and not be called for a technical is if you're trying to avoid coming down on somebody underneath the basket. And, of course, that's a judgment call like everything else is for the poor officials who have to try and keep up with the fast pace of the modern basketball game. Well, Foster will be at the line to shoot. He's one for one in the game and misses. Crowd's kind of gotten on him since the start of this one, so they rejoice in the miss. It stays 47-33. Western Nebraska 3-0 run to start here in the second half. Now the officials kind of sort things out and it will be McCook to inbound the ball. Full court press by Western Nebraska. Ball comes in from Tucker to Cavley. Long pass into the forecourt. Cavley gets it back. Akonmu. Akonmu to Tucker. Player out of London, England spins. Can't get it off, but he'll pass the ball to Foster on the wing. His 15-footer goes in. So Foster misses a free throw on the technical, but gets the fielder. Western Nebraska by a dozen, 47-35. Harris across at a slow pace. Instructions from Coach Billy Engel. Now gives it to Wilson. Wilson between the circles. Bounces to Nation. Nation being defended by Tucker. Takes it into the paint. Gets it down low. Ovia. And he'll double dribble the ball. Lost the handle on it. Tried to regain in the turnover. The 12th against Western Nebraska. 47-35 Western Nebraska with 18.28 to go. McCook has the basketball. Jacob Brandle, the coach of McCook. Billy Engel for Western Nebraska. Foster handling the ball. Foster has it knocked free by Wilson. Picked back up by Foster. Foster into the corner. Tucker for three. It won't go. Rebound taken by Bula, who has half a dozen rebounds in the game now. Bula at the free throw line. Back out to Harris. Harris will launch the three. It's too strong. Rebound Bula. He'll get it off to Nation. His three rims out. Wilson with it. He'll miss the shot. Rebound Foster. Here comes McCook. Foster on the near side. He'll drive it down low, feeds it away, and the layup by Cavley. Nice pass. Cavley had a relatively unimpeded shot to cut the margin to 10. 47-37. Western Nebraska by 10 points. They have the basketball with 17 and a half minutes to go. Harris to the right side. Wilson on the left side now with it. Into the corner, Bula. Bula down to Nation in the block. He'll turn. The five-footer is too strong. Rebound taken off by Akonmu of McCook. Akonmu clears it across. McCook on the run. Cavley into the forecourt. He'll dump it down low. Here comes the drive, the fake, and the shot goes in for Akonmu. Akonmu nearing double digits. He averages about a dozen. 47-39. McCook Whittling into the Western Nebraska lead. Harris in front of the Western Nebraska bench, dribbling up slowly. Now 
to the left side. Cavley stays with him. Right side, Nation. Nation drives, but he's cut off. He'll go down low with it. Wilson couldn't shake free. Three on the shot clock. He'll launch. It hangs and comes away. Western Nebraska has it. It was tipped out to Ovia. Nation launches, but the three bounces around and goes in. Big shot for Nation there. It's 50 to 39. Three at the other end, answering right back is a con move. The 6'7 freshman from Paris has a dozen in the game. It's 50 to 42. 16 minutes to go. Here's Harris to the right side. Zips it out to Wilson. He's open at the free throw line, but drives, puts the reverse layup up and in. Wilson makes it a 10 point Western Nebraska lead. 52 to 42. McCook across, Martell Evans hooks it left side, wide open three, comes up short. Nation with the flat-footed rebound as it came right down to him. Nation dribbles across the timeline. In the forecourt now, it's Harris. Harris pulls up just outside the free throw line, misses badly, rebound taken by McCook. Wholesale subs for Western next time the clock stops. A Akonmu passes far side. He's had the hot hand, but he'll get it to Foster. Foster steps back. His little runner won't go, and the rebound to Ovia, and that will be a foul against Foster, who got in behind Ovia, and he went tumbling on that one. Officials get together to make sure there isn't going to be any extracurricular. There isn't, and we have Ty Foster with his first personal foul. Now the subs come in. Bernie, Galatia, let's see, Bula's still in, Walker is in, and and Anthony Simo for Western Nebraska. 52 to 42 with 15.09 to go. Western Nebraska the lead. They have led throughout. Bernie across. Bernie had a dozen at North Platte the other night. He averages four points a ball game. Now the foul against Louis Tucker. That'll be the first on Tucker in the game. The four against. McCook here this half. They had one in the first half. Bernie hanging on to the basketball, takes it left side. Reverses out to Walker. Walker to Bula. Bula drives in the paint, puts up a tough shot that rim rattles out. Rebound McCook. Here comes Martell Evans. And we're going to have goaltending called against Simo. He blocked it after it had hit the board. So Evans gets credit for the hoop. And that makes it an eight-point Western Nebraska lead, 52 to 44. Akonmu will come out for a well-deserved breather for McCook. He's played well. Press on, but Galatia will bring it up. Passes to Bernie. Bernie into the forecourt now with Western Nebraska leading by eight with 14 and a half minutes to go. Bernie coming to the left side. Zone defense by McCook now. Galatia with it. They'll double on him, so Galatia dribbling around under pressure. Gets it down low. Simo misses the dunk under pressure. McCook with it, but the ball's knocked away. Scramble, and McCook ends up with it. So McCook with the basketball. Cavley hurries into the forecourt. He takes it to the free throw line, extended left. Gets it down low to Foster. Foster will put it up and miss, and the rebound's out of bounds off of Western Nebraska. Keeping it alive was Kabuya for McCook there, and it went off Western Nebraska. We've got a timeout. 13.53 to go, 52-44. to 44. Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. For the past 27 years, Clean Harbors has been providing environmental and industrial waste management services to the Panhandle. They are the industry-leading provider of treatment, incineration, destruction, and disposal of hazardous waste in North America. Clean Harbors, people and technology creating a better environment. 
Western Nebraska led it at halftime by 11, 44 to 33. Right now it's an eight point margin. It'll be McCook to inbound. Be at their offensive end down on the baseline. Louis Tucker goes over to take the ball from the official. We're ready to go as play resumes with 13 on the shot clock. Get it into the corner to Cavley. Cavley takes it outside to open a little area up. Crosses over to Evans with it. Aarons at the free throw line. Off to Tucker. NBA three skips out. Walker rebounds for Western Nebraska. Get it ahead to Bernie. Bernie picks the dribble up, goes to Bula in the left corner. Bula drives out of a double team, kicks it in the corner. Walker faked the three, drives in. He'll throw it to Bernie in the left corner. Skip it out on top. Bula across to Walker. The three-pointer comes off short, and the rebound taken by Evans of McCook. Evans to the right side. Pulls up, reverses the pass out to Cavley. This three misses. Bernie rebounds for Western Nebraska to Walker. No look pass. Bula, he's fouled as he goes up for the shot. He'll go to the line and will have to earn him at the 15-foot uh, mark. Hasn't scored in the ball game. Bula averaging 9.4, but he had five rebounds at halftime. Foul went against Cavley, and that's his first of the ball game. Bula misses the free throw. He'll have one more coming. 52 to 44, Western Nebraska. Western Nebraska 13 and 8. McCook 8 and 11, but both teams are 3 and 1 in the South Sub region. Bula's second shot goes in. Did we have a foul or a lane violation here? I think. We had a lane violation, but I'm not sure. Official indicated to the bench. I think Galatia maybe picked up a foul there. Billy Engel trying to converse from halfway across with the official. Here's McCook across. Evans in a hurry. Evans jumps a pass on top, knocked away by Simo, picked up by Walker, but his pass is intercepted. Turnovers both directions. Here comes McCook the other direction again. Foster will be fouled as he goes up for the shot. If Galatia got the foul, well, they said five, so I'm thinking maybe Simo got that one. So we'll put it down for Simo that he picked up the foul, and we'll try and check later on. Now, well, Simo got that foul, I guess, is what it was. So it'll be inbounded by McCook. I still don't know for sure on that free throw that went in as to what the situation was. But it's 53-44. Shot misses on the three by Foster. Walker rebounds, gets it ahead to Galatia. Galatia doesn't have numbers. He'll get it to Bula. Bula behind the back, out to Galatia. Galatia drives. Free throw line jumper comes off short. Rebound Bula, and he'll be fouled as he goes up for the shot. That'll be Kabuya picking up the foul. That one I'm sure of. He'll have his first. Bula goes to the line. Bula missed the first, hit the second, and on that one was when we had the altercation, I guess you would call it, a minor one inside where a foul was called. But the official, when he indicated four, he didn't say if it was number four for McCook or number four for Western Nebraska. So we'll put a question mark by one for Galatia there. And now the scoreboard goes off. The scoreboard just went blank. Officials alertly spotted that and put it back up. So Bula will be at the line with Western Nebraska leading it by nine, 53 to 44. Still 12:31 to go in the game. This one not decided by any stretch of the imagination. The free throw by Bula had gone in before the uh, scoreboard went blank. He'll have one more coming. Bula's two out of three in the game. They all coming in the last 30 seconds. He'll hit this one. So he's three out of four. It's 54-44, Western Nebraska. Foster 
Left-handed dribble across, takes a screen near side. Bernie catches up with him. Off to Brandle, who's back in for McCook. Out to Tucker. Tucker working on the left side. Shot clock at 10. He'll launch from 18. It misses badly off the left side. Rebound Simo. He hands to Walker. Now to Bernie. Bernie forecourt. Working right side. Comes into the paint. Flips it back out to Walker, who makes an acrobatic leap and save. Down low to Bernie. It's blocked. He gets it back. Puts it up and in. First points for Elijah Bernie, 57-44, Western Nebraska, 11.45 to go. Western Nebraska on defense, Foster with it. Foster will spin to the right side, comes into the hoop, puts it up, it won't go, gets his own rebound, kicks it into the corner, Brandle launches, misses the three, and the rebound taken off by McCook, but I believe we're going to have a foul called on Kabuya here over the back. And Brandon Kabuya will pick up his second personal foul. Timeout taken by McCook, 57-44 Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. been providing great service since 1968. They're your distributors for premium shell lubricants and house fuel additive in Wyoming, Nebraska, and Colorado, and the extreme diesel fuel provider in the three-state region. Western Nebraska back up by 13 after it had been cut to 8 by McCook at 52-44. to Right now, 57-44, a 5-0 run by Western Nebraska. And it will be Western Nebraska to inbound following the timeout there. Bernie getting some sartorial advice from the official. In other words, to tuck his jersey into the shorts. So a brief halt to get that done. Okay. Now Bernie to take the inbound. McCook putting some pressure on nearing the timeline. Bernie brings it across. Cavley on him defensively. They had been in the zone briefly, but now McCook back in a man-to-man Bernie picks the dribble up, goes to Simo. Simo will be doubled from behind and will have traveling called as Simo went down to the court. He tried to put it on the floor, and there were way too many defenders around, and the turnover gives it back to McCook. 11 minutes, 11 seconds to go in this one. Cavley will take the inbound. Bula trying to harass him up court. He has it across. Near side, Tucker. Out to Brandle. Near side, Kabuya. Kabuya will give it to Cavley. Cavley was wanting the pass inside. He'll get it to Foster. Now Kabuya. Kabuya outside with it to Brandle. Shot clock inside 10. Here's the three by Cavley that won't go. Rebound taken by Bernie. Bernie across. It's five on four. He'll stop and pop and hit it for three. Bernie buries a big three to make it 60 to 44. Ten and a half minutes to go. An 8-0 run by Western. Foster leaps high, saves it in bounds. It'll be knocked out now by Bernie. So McCook will inbound with 19 on the shot clock, 10-24 on the game clock. And we're going to see Ridley Shimu, the 6'8 sophomore out of London, back in for McCook. Shima will inbound the ball. He'll flip it out to Brandle, who in turn gives to Cavley. Cavley, one hands a pass over to Brandle. He'll launch and hit this three-pointer. His first points of the ball game. Makes it 60-47, to Western Nebraska, 10-10 to go. Bernie into the paint, ball's knocked away. It's off McCook, good defense down low as Bernie had the dribble penetration, which a lot of times causes the defense a lot of problems. It'll be Bernie to inbound left side. Bernie gets it into Junior Galatia. Galatia across to Maurice Walker. Walker takes a slow dribble right, reverses the pass. Bula set shot for three, rims out. Rebound Kabuya of McCook. Here's Cavley. 
Cavley goes down low with it, knocked out of bounds by Galatia as Kabuya. If he could have handled that one cleanly, might have had a chance for a layup, but it was knocked away by Galatia. We've got wholesale subs, Nation, Harris, Easterly, Wilson, and Ovia. Whole fi new five come in for Western Nebraska. It'll be inbounded by Louis Tucker of McCook. Right side of the board, flips it out to Cavley. Cavley to Tucker, his 10-footer hangs, and that'll be offensive goaltending against McCook, and that's unfortunate for McCook because that one had a chance of trickling in, but was touched while it was in the cylinder. And Western Nebraska will inbound Easterly into Wilson, and McCook putting some pressure on. They need to down 13 now. Wilson plays catch with Easterly. He'll bring it across. Brandel on him defensively. No relation with the coach, Jacob Brandel. It's Jackson Brandel. Wilson takes the pass in. There's only 10 on the shot clock now as Nation has it. Pass right side to Easterly. Five on the shot clock. Easterly, nice fake, misses. Rebound comes away to McCook. Kabuya got it. Pass comes on ahead. Here's Shima. Shima outside. Tucker from downtown misses. Rebound Ovia. Ovia gets it off to J.J. Harris. He's across. Harris takes it down on the right side, reverses the pass into Ovia. He'll flip it in. That's 13 in the game, nearly double his average for Steven Ovia. 8.45 to go, 62 to 47. Cavley makes a bad pass, it's intercepted. Here comes Wilson to the hoop and he'll stuff it home. And we've got timeout McCook. Jacob Brandle disgustedly waves for a timeout. 8.32 to go, 64-47. Western Nebraska on the West Coast scoreboard. Contact Jennifer Yurdialis, your local five-star lender with Castle & Cook Mortgage. For a simple, friendly, and fast loan process for your home purchase or refinance, contact Jennifer. Castle & Cook Mortgage, the key to your castle. Team Auto Center, helping to bring you the broadcast. They're the home of the lifetime warranty on every new vehicle from Team Auto. And Trans Systems, a sponsor. It's a sweet haul in this sweet community for Trans Systems. Timeout taken by McCook, 64-47 Western Nebraska. McCook in their black uniforms, blue numerals outlined in white, so they are quite distinctive and able to pick those up. Western Nebraska, of course, in their home whites with the dark blue numerals and gold lettering. McCook will have the basketball following the timeout. Cavley will bring it full court. Cavley takes a screen, bounces it back over to Akonmu. Akonmu, the little runner off glass, hangs and goes in. Nice soft touch by the 6'7 freshman out of Paris. 64-49, Western Nebraska. We're just over eight minutes to go. Here's Ovia to the hoop, and he's going to be tied up. It'll be a jump ball as Kaboya. Nice defensive job there to tie it up and cause the turnover as the possession arrow will be in McCook's favor. They'll get to inbound the ball with eight minutes and seven seconds to go. 64-49. little pressure on just to try and make him use some time. Akonmu, good ball handler at 6-7, brings it across. Now Cavalli. Cavalli on the left side. Goes high post to Akonmu. Akonmu hesitated, thought about it, gets the ball back on a pass now from Kaboya. Goes to the baseline left side. It's partially blocked. Akonmu comes up with it, and it's going to be knocked away again, and out of bounds it'll be off of Western Nebraska. Seven on the shot clock for McCook now. Looks like we will see Foster report back in, and he will give Martell Evans a breather. Evans, six points. He averages 15.6 on the night. 
Now with seven seconds to go inbound, and it'll be Cavalli hitting the three. His first three of the night. 64-52. Western Nebraska against the press now with seven and a half minutes to go. Easterly, Harris in the forecourt. Harris waiting for people to get set. Ovia comes out to set a high screen. Easterly goes deep. Here's Wilson with 10 on the shot clock. They'll dare him, so he'll shoot, but it misses. Rebound, Kabuya. McCook with it. Long pass intercepted. Wilson comes up with it for Western. He'll take it to the hoop. Put it in. He's fouled. Wilson, strong move there following his interception. And he'll make the score 66 to 52 with a free throw coming after the foul against Kabuya. Brandon Kabuya, 6'9 sophomore out of Paris, picking up his third foul of the half. This will be a one-shot foul, but Western will be in the bonus now as that's the seventh against McCook. Free throw goes in for Wilson. Remember, he's been in doubles 12 straight games. Last time he wasn't was the day after Thanksgiving. Pass on ahead for McCook to Kabuya. Kabuya gives to Akonmu. Akonmu, Foster, swing it to Cavalli. Now Tucker. Tucker jumps a pass and it's intercepted by Harris. Harris will take it to the hoop and lay it in. First points this half for J.J., but makes it 69-52. Western Nebraska, three-pointer will go in on the left side for Akonmu. He's got 17 in the game now, 69-55. Press on, Harris gets the ball ahead to Ovia. Ovia waits for traffic to get out of the way, gives it to Harris. J.J. Harris. Dribbling between the legs, can't shake free from Cavalli. Gets the ball down to Nation. Now the uh, pass off, and Bucket goes in for Harris, or Wilson it is, under extreme pressure. Wilson hits. We've got timeout, Western Nebraska, and the score, 71-55. Western Nebraska with 6-11 to go on the West Coast scoreboard. Care Medical Services in Scotts Bluff for all of life's little emergencies. You have a choice when it comes to your health care and at Quick Care Walk-In Clinic, we're here to help. Quick Care Medical Services in Scotts Bluff. Also helping bring you the ball game, Vieira Wireless with hometown roots, global reach. Vieira Wireless in Scotts Bluff. Now McCook trailed 64-47. They went on a 5-0 run. It was 64-52. Western Nebraska starting to score with a little more frequency now following the 14th turnover against McCook. Western has 15 of their own. McCook averages 15 turnovers a ball game. Western 12.6. So both teams a little less successful floor game than they would have hoped for. But Western Nebraska after that bucket by Wilson, which got him in double digits for the 13th straight game. At halftime, he had two. He now has 11. Here's McCook with it. Zaki Cavalli, a 6'4 sophomore out of Turkey, handling it for McCook, swatted out of bounds by Harris. Got his hands on it over in the passing lane to knock it away. Six minutes and a second to go in the ball game. Western Nebraska by 16. McCook and Western Nebraska, along with Trinidad, all 3-1 and one in the south sub-region right now. Foster to inbound. High post to Kabuya. Back to Foster. Foster backs into the corner. Cavalli with it. Foster, right corner, three-pointer. Too strong. Rebound, Harris. Western Nebraska with it. J.J. Harris across. Behind the back on the dribble, now gives it off to Nation. Nation loses the handle on it, trying to get a little too fancy with that one, turns it over, and McCook has the basketball with 5.35 to go. 
Cavalli spins into the paint, takes it low, feeds it down low, and it's knocked away from Kabuya and taken away by Western. Get it ahead to Wilson. Wilson to the hoop, and a foul will be called against Akonmu. Turnover on McCook will result in free throws coming for Willie Wilson. Foul will go against Brian Akonmu and will be his second. Wilson, who is one for one, has a pair of free throws coming here. Bends the knees, and the first one bounces off the left side. Score remains 71-55. Now we're going to see for the first time a 6'8 sophomore for McCook out of New Zealand, Debo Maeri in the game. But Airy, a 6'8 player, averages one and a half points a game, 3.1 rebounds. Wilson puts it up and in. So he gets one of the two, extends the lead to 72-55 for Western. At the other end, shot misses. Wide open shot for McCook. Here's Easterly at the other end. He'll be fouled as he goes up. And limping at the other end was Maeri, who had missed that shot. He went crashing into the bleachers and is limping over toward the McCook bench. Doug Jones, the trainer for Western Nebraska, heading over to see if he can help him. He's in obvious pain. Jacob Brandle, the coach, over to check on him also. So Maeri trying to walk it off. Doug Jones down to see if he can help him a little bit. The officials hold up for a minute as they will sub, and Kabuya comes back in for McCook. At the line will be Travis Easterly, who is fouled on that fast break opportunity for Western Nebraska. 5.15 remains in the game. Western Nebraska by 17, and the free throw misses by Easterly. He's a 71% free throw shooter usually, but that one very strong. Nation will move into a rebounding slot on the left side as Wilson goes back. Easterly waiting at the 15-foot mark here. Gets the ball from the official. And this one does go in cleanly. So Easterly with one out of two, and it's 73-55, Western Nebraska. Ball knocked away and saved by McCook from an over and back. Nice play. Here's Foster with it. Foster spins, gets the defender up, puts it up. It won't go, gets his own rebound, and is fouled. Foster staying with it, battling hard, missed, got it back, missed, but was fouled. And will go to the line as Wilson will pick that personal up. Nobody in real trouble for Western Nebraska. A bunch of people with two. There's Foster at the line. One out of two on the night. This one curls in. That'll make it 73 to 56. Western Nebraska again had had an 18 point lead, which equals their biggest. But now 73 56. 17 pointer with one more toss coming. And Foster hits it, so it's 73-57. Press on, Wilson, Harris, back to Wilson. He's across the timeline. Down into the corner, Nation, Caden Nation, launches a three and hits it. Wow, he forced that one, but nothing but net, and it's 76-57. Four and a half minutes to go. Akonmu trying to back his way in on Easterly. He has an advantage there, but he'll pass off to Cavley. Cavley, one-handed pass left side. Foster into the paint. Zips it into the right corner. Tucker launches and hits the three. First points for Tucker this half, but he's in doubles now. 76-60. Ovia, left side. That'll be Harris. Dishes into the corner to Nation. Nation back out to Harris, nearing four minutes to go. Western wants to hang on to the ball now. Time and score. Don't shoot when you don't have to with a lead like this. 16 points. Eight on the shot clock. Harris to the right side. He'll be bumped into. And it'll be a one-and-one -one situation for Western Nebraska. 
It'll be the last one and one, I believe, as that should be the ninth. Nope, it's the tenth, so it's a two shotter. Foul went on Foster. So Harris at the line to shoot his first free throws of the game. Harris with a chance to get in double digits here himself. He does. He now has 10 points, 14th time he's been in double digits this year. Wilson, it's the 15th time for him and the 13th time in a row. Ovia's in doubles for the seventh time and Nation for the 12th time. So they've spread it around pretty good in this one. Free throw goes in again. So Harris gets them both. Western Nebraska leads it 78 to 60. Here's a Kanmu. Kanmu flips it on out, and it's knocked away, but it'll be a foul against Wilson. Near steal, but he got him on the arm. And Wilson will have his third personal foul. 3.41 to go. Only the fourth against Western, so no one and one for McCook as of yet. Cavalli will give it to Tucker. Tucker, Euro step, puts it up, it won't go. Nation with it, long pass ahead to Wilson. Wilson again backs away, gets it across to Harris. 3.25 to go in the ball game. Western Nebraska by 18. No need to hurry a shot up here now. Take the shot clock down. Harris, screen to the left side. Reverses the pass out to Nation. Shot up and in with six on the shot clock by Nation for his sixth three of the ball game. 79-60 with three minutes to go, Western. Foster misses at the other end. Simo rebounds, and the pass down low to Nation tries a reverse layup that won't go. McCook has the rebound. McCook will push it. Here's Foster for the layup. Ty Foster right at his average of 12-3. He has 12 in the game. It's 79-62, Western Nebraska. We're at two and a half minutes to go now. Harris out on top with it as Foster on him defensively, and Foster will pick up the foul going for the steal. So that'll be his second foul in short order here, and it'll be two shots coming for Harris because of the double bonus. Western Nebraska is going to improve to 14 and 8. McCook will fall to 8 and 12. But in the subregion, Western Nebraska will go 4 and 1, their loss at home to Trinidad, while McCook will be 3 and 2. Free throw by Harris goes in again. He's 3 for 3 in the game. So Western Nebraska, a 20 point lead now, their biggest of the game at 82 to 62. Looks like we're going to see Danilo Glasovic, the freshman out of Serbia, report for Western Nebraska. Galatia comes back in. Simo, Bernie, Harris, who will be shooting. Galatia and Glasovic. So Harris, one more toss. It goes in after a couple of hops. And now he'll come out. And we're going to see Marquise Morrison, the 5'11 freshman for Atlanta, coming in. Be the third game he's been in. We're going to see McCook bring Sasha Boisset, a 6'7 freshman out of Canada, in the ball game also. And Colton Hager, a 6'5 sophomore out of Wallace, Nebraska, will be in. Cavalli across. Cavalli gets it out to Hager. Hager to Cavalli again. He'll back away. Man-to-man -man defense by Western Nebraska. Cavalli stops, takes the three, and hits it. Cavalli with two threes and a two this half. He has 10 in the ball game. 82 or 83 to 65, Western Nebraska. Bernie across with it. Hager on him defensively. Bernie left side, reverses it to Golasovic. Golasovic spins into the paint, but can't get a shot off. He'll go out to Galatia. Shot clock at seven. Galatia will launch from downtown and hit it. 
Wow, his first three of the game, he has a handful of points, and it's 86-65, Western Nebraska. Cavalli, near side, that'll be R.J. Hines missing. Rebound taken off by McCook, foul on Western, trying to steal it back. So that'll stop the clock with a minute 24 to go. 86-65, Western Nebraska. Foul will go against Galatia, his second. Ball inbounded by Boisette. Cavley with it. He'll put it out on the wing, but no shot coming here for Hines. It's taken away by Western Nebraska. Get it to Galatia, and he'll put it down. Cougars are just having fun now. It's 88-65. Cavley drives in for McCook. His shot partially blocked by Simo, recovered by Simo to Galatia. Get it off to Marquise Morrison. His shot won't go. McCook with the ball, 49 seconds to go. Pass on ahead, Cavley. Nice grab on a low bounding pass there. He regains control, comes near side to Hines. Hines out to Hager. Here's another three that goes up and in for Cavley. Boy, he's hit three of them this half. But all we're doing is determining a final score. It's 88-68, Western Nebraska, half a minute to go. Bernie across. Boy, that, or excuse me, that would be uh, Brandle on him defensively. Feeds it down low. And Marquise Morrison faked. Got the defender up, Cavley trying for the block, will pick up the foul instead, and it will put Morrison at the line. Morrison has not shot a free throw this year. He'll have two coming. Cavley having a few words with uh, a couple of the bench members of Western Nebraska official. Tells him to move on out further on the court. Don't need anything to happen here. And Morrison now handed the basketball, puts the first free throw up and in. And he's obviously a crowd favorite. Draws a rousing roar of approval. 89 to 68. McCook averages nearly 82 points a ball game. Morrison hits again. They have 68 in this one. Long pass ahead to Boisette. He'll launch and hit the three. And uh, we've got a timeout or what here? The ball maybe was touched out of bounds, so the referee had halted. Of course, time stops in the final minute in college ball anyway on a made shot. 12.4 seconds to go. 90 to 71. Western Nebraska for the third time this year is in the 90s. They've surpassed uh, the century mark three times this year. McCook with 71 points. That's going to be the eighth time they've been there. Morrison to Bernie. Bernie will have to get it across the timeline. Now they can just set and camp out with the basketball, and we've got a final score of Western Nebraska 90 and McCook 71. So McCook, 33 in the first half, 38 in the second. Western Nebraska, 44 in the first and 46 in the second half to win it, 90 to 71.
Western Nebraska jumped out 6 0 in the ball game. Steadily increased that lead in the first half. In fact, at one point, 42 to 24, before a little rally by McCook made it 44 33 at halftime. Western Nebraska scored the first couple of buckets in the second, but McCook put a run on. But it was 52 44 with 14 37 to go when Western Nebraska exploded again. They had a 12 3 advantage to lead with eight and a half minutes to go by a 64 40 seven score led 73 55 they were up over 20 a couple of times late and end up winning it by 19 points we're totaling them up we'll have the individuals coming up for you right after this Before we get into all of the post uh, game here, we're going to talk with the coach, Billy Engel. Halftime 44-33 lead at one point. Um, thought McCook starting to get a little momentum, but Willie Wilson hit that bucket second to go, and I think you went in with a little momentum. You know, it was nice to have uh, played well for the, the vast majority of the first half mm -hmm. and then to cap it off by, by maintaining a, a double-digit lead. Um, we were the last ones to score. I mean, I think we were up 42-24, 18-point lead. Felt like we were really going to, um, you know, give ourselves a chance to put them away in the first half. And uh, next thing you know, it's down to single digits. So uh, getting that steal, getting that layup sure felt good for our momentum. But, uh, you know, we knew that we had to come out in the second half and really play well because, I mean, McCook can score. I don't know if they, they shot it well. I haven't seen stats yet. But, uh uh, they, they, they'll always have a chance to stay in games with uh, their scoring ability. Boy, and they have some athletes. Uh, they're big guys inside. Uh, well, one, Akonmu, I thought at 6'7", handled it well outside, too. Oh, he is, he is the most versatile player on their team, and we, we put him in categories as far as uh, straight-line drivers and transition guys, shooters, um, uh, big guys on the glass, and, and we kind of said uh, number 10 can kind of do everything. You know, he can handle it, he can get to the rim, he can shoot it, um, and he can bang around down low. So uh, he, he's a really tough player. That is a, that is a talented the freshman. Well, your team played well in this one. Uh, shot it well. Uh, looking at stats here real quickly, 49% uh, overall, 44% from the arc. It, uh, offense always looks good when the ball goes in. Uh, there's uh, there's no doubt about that, but uh, I'll tell you what, you know, these guys have done uh, so much of a better job here in the second semester of uh, trusting each other, sharing the basketball, um, you know, it's, it, 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 taking a, a point of emphasis of shot selection, and, uh, you know, it, I think it shows in, in games like tonight. You know, we've had some other games where uh, we have played well. We have shared it well, and the shots haven't gone in. Um, but tonight, you know, we executed an offensive and a defensive game plan. Um, even though McCook was able to make a couple plays, um, you know, I think the scoreboard shows that uh, you know the guys did a good job tonight. Yeah, four and one in the sub. That's the important stat. Absolutely. Um, and I, I just had to, to briefly check on my phone here before I hopped on. It looks like Trinidad won again. So, um, you know, we we, we got to handle things. Uh, you know, one day at a time here. So uh, I'm glad we were able to go one and zero tonight. Um, our legs get to get a little bit of a rest here before we. Uh, uh, I want to say we're on the road next week at NJC next Friday. So it'll be nice for us to, to take a week rest and, uh, and get down for that big one. Otero next Friday, NJC will be the following Tuesday. So gotcha, you do gotcha. have a, a week to kind of recuperate. Yep. We've kind of talked to you. It's a point of the season where you can have some nagging injuries with people. Probably a good time just to try and rehab a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, you can go down the list of, uh, of a sore back, of a sore foot, of a, of a rolled ankle, um, you know, of a, of a bruised hand, uh, you know, guys getting taped up for different 
different things. So there's no doubt about it. We are, uh, um, and, and, and we're not unique in that. Everybody's banged up at this point in the season. But uh, having this week in the schedule is going to be nice. And, uh, yeah, down to Otero next week. It's, it's a tough place to play. And um, um, they're, they're, they're a talented team. I, 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 I look at them very similarly to, uh, to McCook. I mean, very talented, um, you know, very athletic, very physical. And uh, any given night, you know, they, they can beat just about anybody. Well, congratulations on the win, Coach. Thank you, Chuck. Billy Engel along with us. We'll have stats coming up on the Runs of Post game show. Well, thank you, and welcome back. Western Nebraska winning at 90 to 71 over McCook to run their record to 14 and 8. Western Nebraska on a bit of a run now after they had uh, lost to Trinidad here. They beat Notaro, North Platte, and McCook in a row, all sub-region games. Let's look at scoring for McCook first in this one, and when we look at those numbers, of course, they're brought to you by. Dr. Levi Bolin at Advantage Chiropractic. 633-1425. He can treat all your chiropractic needs from newborn to 100 years old. For McCook, they're going to end up with uh, three and doubles. The way it looks. Let's check it out. Ty Foster had 16. He was three for four. At the line, 17 for Brian Akonmu. He was 0 for 2 at the stripe, had three threes in the game. Then it was uh, 10 points, Zaki Cavley. He had, uh, gosh, a couple of threes, a couple of twos. Nope, one two. And uh, two for two at the line for his points. Then it was uh, seven points for Louis Tucker. Tucker had a three-pointer. Six points for Martell Evans, held well below his average of 15.6. He was two for two at the line. Five points, Ridley Shima. Four points, Brandon Kabuya. Three points for Jackson Brandle on a three. Three for Sasha Boisette on a three-pointer 